well, not said to them. I mean, don't watch them. They don't have to take them off. Don't watch them. They don't have to take them off. I'm not, I'm not in favor of censorship, you know. No censorship. Just take them off by not watching the asshole. I mean, okay, well, oh, 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 got my panties up my ass again. Okay, but, okay, okay, okay. You can't handle the trash. Okay, you can't handle the trash. Can't handle it. <laughs> you can't handle the trash. You can't handle the trash. You can't handle the trash. <laughs> there. Well, whichever way you prefer. <laughs> Every way you prefer. <laughs> Well, we gotta get back to gotta get back to the fun stuff. And I, okay, the fun stuff. What were we talking about before? Okay, Pir well, pirates, pirates. Well, maybe they might do a little okay this year, but they still suck. They still suck and suck. They might they still suck those pirates. So, so I'm not gonna talk about something things that suck like the pirates. But they might do a little better this year, two thousand nine. We'll see. But anyways, anyway, gotta get back to the fun stuff. Fun stuff. What we were talking about before, the television shows, the old time television shows, and the old time themed television shows and well like I well O'Reilly he was right about one thing he said his favorite show was Dobie Gillis Dobie I remember that that was on from 1959 1963 Dobie wants a girl who's creamy Dobie wants a girl who's dreamy Dobie wants a girl to call his own is she smart is she cool is she fun is she sweet he Toby just wants the girl to call his own Toby Toby wants the girl to call his own well I mean that was a cool show way ahead of his time way ahead of his time okay Tuesday Weld who went on to become a big movie star was on that show she played theater manager Dobie's so-called girlfriend, and Milton Armbridge was played by Warren Beatty. Warren Beatty did like five Dobie Gillis as Milton Armbridge, and then he went on to become a big movie star. He was replaced by Chadsworth Osborne Jr., a real pussy guy, <laughs> rich pussy guy, Chadsworth Osborne Jr. And of course, Milton Armbridge, he was played by Warren Beatty, he, he always went around beating up Dobie and Maynard. That was cool. <laughs> Maynard G. Krebs. The G in Maynard G. Krebs stood for Walter. Walter, he said, well, they said, Maynard, what's the J stand for? And he said, Walter, well, he, he had one of my favorite television lines of all time, Maynard. Anytime somebody would say, well, Maynard, it's time to go to work, he'd say, work, 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 work. And that's what I do. Anytime somebody says, work, 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 that is dirty word. That is the most vile, dirty word in the whole English language. Maynard G. Krebs was right about that. Work, work, work. Work! Ah, ah! And so, so he was right. That's the dirty word. So I, so I love telling you dirty words. Ha, ha, ha. So that's a dirty, dirty, dirty word. That's a dirty word. Work! Ah, work! Ah, 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 ah! Oh yes, it's a bad, bad word. So, so, Doby, he, he always wanted a girl who was dreamy and creamy. Doby just wants a girl who's dreamy. Doby wants a girl who's creamy. Doby wants a girl to call his own. Oh, yeah, so that, like Zillion Manager, played by Tuesday Weld, and uh, she, was, she was cool on that show, because she kept telling Doby, well, you gotta make oodles and oodles of money before I'll go with you. Well, I can see her point. I mean, Doby was ugly. He was really ugly, and the only reason for her to go with her, for, for the Zillion Manager to go with Doby, the only reason for her to go with him was if he had lots and lots of money. So, yes, I mean, if you're an, well, see, your girl wasn't an ugly girl, she was a pretty girl, but all girls should get money. And so that's the right idea. Get every cent you can out of your men, girls. Ha, 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 ha. Get all their money, girls. Get all their money, all their money. And you girls should get all your men's money. Oodles and oodles and oodles and oodles and oodles of money. Like the old manager on Toby Gillis used to say. Ha, ha, ha. Well, anyways, and, and this girl who liked Doby, she liked Doby for who he was. Her name was Zelda Gilroy. She was played by Sheila, Sheila James. In real life, actually, she was a lesbian. But she, she could have had her own show. But in those days, they wouldn't give her her own show because she was a lesbian. And they knew it. But she played a straight girl, a heterosexual girl. So, <laughs> so there's acting for you. <laughs> well, you don't see acting on Tracy Charles Track Girl's show. Tracy Charles Track Girl being herself, herself, herself. This is Tracy the Trailer Trash Girl as herself. But, but Sheila James was acting as Zelda Gilroy, chasing Dobie. And she, 
eventually married them, actually. They did a TV movie many years later where Zelda Gilroy and Dobie got married. Zelda Gilroy, ugliest girl you ever seen. So she had to settle for the old Dobie. Well, the great thing about that show, one of the great things about it, Dobie had a mean, grouchy father. Um, it wasn't like those bland sitcoms of the day, like Leave it to Beaver and Father Knows Best, where the father was sweet and nice and smart, and the parents, the mother, nice mother, and nice father, nice kids, nice dog. Well, actually, Herbert T. Gillis was grouchy. He used to go, I got to kill that boy. I just got to. I just got to kill that boy. I got to kill that boy. I just got to. I got to kill that boy. Oh, that boy, he's always messing up. That boy, Dobby, my boy, my knucklehead, idiot son, Dobby. Oh, I got to kill that boy. I got to kill, kill that boy. Yeah, well, that was cool. That was really cool. But eventually they had to, like, make him a little softer. They shouldn't have, but they were getting complaints, like, that it was setting a bad example, the mean, grouchy father. Well, like, this was in the early 1960s. So on television, people didn't go to the bathroom then, and people didn't die then, because times, times were like backward back then. Well, they still are backward times, but even more backward then. So people, people had to like be nice on television back then. So I mean, television has come a long way, baby. No, it, nobody would have ever dreamed that television would come far enough for Tracy the Trailer Trash Girl. Nobody, but it has, it has. So you're living in a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful time, wonderful time of the world when television had finally, finally progressed to letting Tracy the Trailer Trash Girl do her own thing uncensored with no censorship. Uncensored, Tracy the Trailer Trash Girl. Television has progressed to that point, and you're lucky to be living in it right now, baby. It's, oh, if you were living in those 60s, like I talked about 1960, the plan, I, I tell you, you were, you were fucked up back then. But now, well, I mean, the, the politics and people are still fucked up, but television, television has come a long way, baby, for Tracy the Trailer Trash Girl. The greatest show on television. Oh, yes. Oh, oh. So ain't you lucky. Ain't you lucky. Ha, 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 ha. I mean, Springer, Jerry Springer, I mean, that's mild. That's nothing. That's bland compared to Tracy the Trailer Trash Girl. Tracy the Trailer Trash Girl is where the action is. Although Springer's second and to Tracy the Trailer. And Howard Stern, he's like a third. But Tracy the Trailer Trash Girl, Howard Stern, Springer, they're nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing compared to Tracy the Trailer Trash Girl. I mean, Tracy the Trailer Trash Girl was the best thing that was ever on Springer, as I've told you, and I'm too good for that show even. So, so that's why I had to, had to, had to have my own show right here on PC TV. And other cables, channels, other cable systems wouldn't even let me do it because they were scared. They couldn't handle the trash. So that's why I love PC TV, because they can handle the trash. They're the only station that can handle the trash. They can handle the trash, and they handle the trash. And nobody else out there, and nobody else out there, you can't handle the trash. The media, the papers, the magazine, you can, and the other TV stations. And uh, you can't handle the trash. You can't handle the trash. You can't handle the trash. The trash, the trash, you can't handle it. Ah, ah, oh, yeah. Did I, well, uh, I think I made my point about that. I mean, it's driving me crazy. I mean, crazy, 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 crazy. Oh, yes, 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 yes oh, driving me crazy. So I got to get back to the fun stuff. I always tell you I'm going to get back to the fun stuff. Well, well I'm not going to show you me. I'm not going to show you me fucking that fun stuff I'm not going to show to you because I do that for myself baby, myself. As far as that's concerned, I only care about myself, baby, myself. But me, 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 me. But see, I've even done nice things for you out there, for you out there. Go in the bath for you, for you out there. So I've done that. So, but anyways, oh, yes, baby. 